When you find ways of changing the way you feel about money, for example, when you go to purchase something and you're shocked at the cost of it. Esther remembers years ago going into a department store and seeing the most beautiful blouse that she had ever seen. And her heart just leaped because she liked it and wanted it. And when she turned the tag over and saw how much it cost, she felt such disappointment that she was mad at the department store. She was angry at the industry. She was angry at the manufacturer. And if we had been visiting with her in those days, we would have said to her, Esther, this is a turning point moment for you. This is a moment where you had a knee-jerk reaction that turned you right upstream. And a lot of people turn right upstream over something just like this. But you can't let yourself have a knee-jerk reaction and be turned upstream and ever be in a position where things will be better for you. You've got to soften this feeling. And if we'd been talking to her then, we would have said to her, don't buy the blouse today, but plan to get it later. And appreciate the beauty of it and hold it in your mind's eye. And Esther, in that angry moment, would have said, buzz off whoever is talking in my head. In other words, she would not, she would not have had any of that because she wanted it and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now and she couldn't afford it and she wanted it now and she wanted it now. But what we are saying, her now cannot improve as long as she keeps having those kinds of knee jerk reactions. When you're jealous of people who have money, you've got a habitual pattern upstream. When you're disappointed that you don't have money, you've got a habitual pattern upstream. When you're appreciative of the money you have even if it isn't very much you're flowing downstream when you're appreciative of the money you have when you have the when the money that you have feels good to you and you say to yourself things like it's good that I have this money and I'm proud of myself for having brought this money into my experience and I'm a good budgeter of money and I like how far I've made my money go and I like I like the feeling of money and I like putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this and putting the money here for this. I like this feeling of managing money and I'm good at managing money and I like this money and I'm looking forward to more money that is coming and as more money comes I'm going to do this with it and this with it and the money that comes is going to be fun in this way and this way and this way. Now no matter what your state of money there are people who have a lot more money than you do who are worried about it and have pinched themselves off. There are people who have a lot less money than you do who are thrilled with it who have opened an avenue where there's abundance of money right on their doorstep in other words you just got to find a way to feel good about whatever the subject is in this case money and when you feel good about where you stand so here's here's we talked earlier about what we want you to leave here feeling above all other things and that is I have the power to turn in the stream and I don't need to put a motor on my boat and get all the way to the winning lottery ticket. I just need to turn in the stream as often as I can be aware. I just need to turn in the stream. And now we want to leave you with something that is equally important, which is I am where I am and that's okay. I'm putting my boat in the stream where it is. And everybody's up and down the stream putting their boat in the stream at different places. It doesn't matter because you're not in competition with anyone for any resources. The only thing that you, if there is any competition at all and there isn't, is the closing of the gap between the money you want and the money that you feel right now. So when you change the way you feel about money, even though there isn't any money that gives you the reason to feel the change, in other words, you got to find the feeling before you get the money. And when you find the feeling, you've turned in the stream. And when you've turned in the stream, you'll find the money. It's just that simple. People say, give me the money, then I'll feel better. And we say, feel better, and then you'll get the money. You say, no, well, give me the money, and then I'll feel better. And we say, feel better, and then you'll find the money. Feel better. And they say, well, I don't have a reason to feel better. And we say, wanting to feel better is a reason to feel better. Better. Wanting to feel better is a reason to feel better. You've got to train your mind to focus in a way that feels better and only you can do it. Everybody or most everybody is saying, well, this is how I feel and this is what is. And you, and when they mean you, they're talking to their mate, they're talking to their kids, they're talking to their employer, they're talking to their employees, they're talking to other people in traffic, and they're talking to the government, usually. That's who, and you need to do something different so that I can feel different. 
employer, you need to give me more money and you need to give me fewer hours. You need to give me more for less. That's what you need to do and then I'll feel better. And kids, you need to get your own job. <laughs> And government, you need to stop spending my money on things I don't want to spend it in and give me my tax money back so that... And we say, as long as you're asking all of those people over which you have no control, and you know it, you know you can't control your kids, don't you? You know you can't control your government. You've tried. Don't you know it by now? So when you put yourself in a position where your good fortune is dependent upon what somebody does over which you have no control, you're upstream every time. And when you finally get it, that none of them have anything to do with what's coming to you. It's all just about you closing the gap. And closing the gap is about feeling better right now, better right now, better right now. Then you leave here and you say, nothing's more important than that I feel good, but I am where I am. And those two thoughts go very well together. I want to go downstream, but I am where I am, which means I've made peace with where I am. And when you make peace with where you are, can you feel this? Feel this. I don't have enough money and I need more money and I should have done better and I should have applied myself better and I shouldn't have spent money on that thing and I shouldn't have taken that trip and I shouldn't have spent this money and now I'm in trouble. That's not making peace with where you are. That's clubbing yourself about the head. And it's upstream. Every bit of it is upstream. Whether it's factual or truthful or not, whether you're overdrawn or not, it doesn't matter. It's upstream and things can't get better. But when I am where I am and my attitude is, I'm going to make peace with where I am. Now, what does that mean? What does making peace with where I am mean? It means turn and go with the flow. It means let myself have what I deserve. Making peace with it means I'm all right. It means I'm not stupid. It means I didn't make mistakes. It means I embraced life. I went for the gusto. I looked for what I wanted. I lived large. I am adventurous. I am full of life. I do love life. Things are supposed to be good for me. This is supposed to, supposed to be a fun ride. I'm loving being here. I'm still in the same financial position that I was a few seconds ago, but now I've turned and I've gone with the flow. I made peace with where I am, and in doing so, I turned and went with the flow. By beating up on myself, I did the opposite. So you can't beat up on your employer either and go with the flow. You can't beat up on your government either and go with the flow. You can't be mad at your kids and go with the flow. In other words, there's a thousand things all day, every day, and in the same way. Now hear this. Oh. You're going to like this. And whether you do or not, we do. <laughs> In the same way that it wasn't thinking about cancer that made you sick. It was worrying about this and 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 this in a stream that's moving really, really fast that made you sick. So it's not thinking about money, 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 money that's going to bring you money. It's being nicer about this. It's being freer about this. It's smiling more about this. It's about loving this one more. It's about letting go of that grudge. It's about forgetting that embarrassing moment. It's about activating the things about you and about others that feel good when you do it. It's about giving yourself a break. It's about patting yourself on the back. It's about loving other people. It's about forgetting the slights that people have given you. It's, it's about understanding them. It's about giving them the benefit of the doubt. It's about giving them a break. It's about not beating the drum of that. It's about not digging up the past and trying to use it to justify why things are screwed up now. It's about acknowledging that I am where I am and where I am is okay. And everything that I am is as a result of everything that I've lived and source adores me right now. So why not me? Why not me adoring me too? Why not me loving me? Why not me loving me enough to let the abundance flow, the abundance of clarity, the abundance of vitality, the abundance of money, the abundance of friends? Why not me allow that in me? Source is doing it. Source is doing it. And source is just the greater part of me. Why not me? And we say, you can do it, friends. It's the most natural thing in the world. You are pure positive energy beings. You've come forth into this experience. And these delightful women have described to you the way they felt. They remember they felt when they were young. And you remember it too on some level of your being. 
if there is anything that we can leave with you it is this we want you to remember how we feel about you so much that you feel that way too we want you to no longer be afraid of anything because there isn't anything to be afraid of we want you to sit in a seminar and cough all day long <laughs> and say I am where I am so what so what I am where I am I came I didn't feel all that good but I came and I'm glad I came we want you to not have enough money to pay your bills and say I paid what I can pay I'm doing the best that I can we want you to let the comparison between who you really are and who you are be the only thing that matters and we want you to factor out all of those naysayers and all of those who need you to be different so that they can feel better because you can't can't be different enough that they can feel better very long.